everyone. So I'm here in Oman, just up in our apartment. You can see we're overlooking the Kloys, the big, big, big shul, as well as a bunch of new buildings. And uh, hidden down there, some soldiers. Anyway, I just wanted to share a quick couple of thoughts so I don't forget them today. From being in the Tzion for the first time on this trip today by Rabbi Nachman's grave. Um, had some overwhelming feelings that I think really speak to what the, the real the real amazingness of Rabbi Nachman and of Uman Rosh Hashanah. That is that being in the Tzion, it's crazy. It's like noisy and busy. There's no room to move. It's packed. And you have to one side, there's people in a circle dancing and singing. Maybe in the back, there's a drum. There's shofars going off. There's people crying to, to in, in davening. There's people, there's minyanim, a bunch of minyanim. There's just all these things going on, going on, going on. And one of the things that, that I thought about this is that it feels to me, if you understand this, you'll understand this. If not, it's okay, take my word for it. But it feels to me like Rabbi Nachman's Torah, which, which is that he will, he will bring amazing ideas from all different places. Different places in Tanakh, different places in Mishnayis, in Gemara, in Zayar HaKadosh, in Tikkun Zayar. He bring all these things, and they're all coming from different directions, and then they're all speaking in a different way, and like in a different, a different language with a different energy. And somehow, in Menachem's amazing wisdom, he's able to unite those things and show how they all come together to show like a peek behind the curtain, the oneness of the Kurdish Baruch. And it's one of the most amazing aspects of the Torah of Rabbi that this is how he does it. And I feel that this is replicated in his seal. You, 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 you feel the same energy of, of all kinds of different energies coming together and, 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 and sharing their energy in a way that's very powerful, but very different and very unique. How is it that you can have, you know, a young guy with like a, a nose ring, you know, and long hair, and he's standing and davening at the tune of Rabbi Nachum with tears in his eyes, and then standing next to him, you'll have like an old chassid from Meisharin standing there davening with tears in his eyes. Totally different energies, but they come together and show something amazing about the oneness of the Kaddish Baruch Hu and of Kal Yisrael and the Achdus of Kal Yisrael. Another aspect that hit me very hard today, just to share, is that I was standing very close to the actual Siyun of Rabbi Nachman for a long time, and I saw that many people would go and they would fight, push, in a nice way I mean, <laughs> to get up close and to actually be able to touch the Siyun of Rabbi Nachman, to touch the, the, the grave marker of Rabbi Nachman. And, and, and you see that as soon as, as soon as they put their head down there, all of a sudden their bodies start vibrating with tears, they're crying. And every person that turns back, their eyes are red with tears. And it's just, it's, it's something very, very special and very powerful to see that all of Claudia's ring, with all their different stripes, all their different clothing, all their different hats or not hats, all the different energies all coming together in the tzion of Rabbi Nachman, united together with, with the tzaddik Yemis. Something beautiful and amazing to see. It's Hashem. I'll, I'll put this, this message together with a few videos showing showing some of this uh, energy at the tzion. Everyone as well. A kesiva, a chesima, toiva, a gikkeh ben shdiar.